gosh, I really think this was the third one. I'm pretty sure. And why do I think there was supposed to be four? I don't know. Shut up! You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan, and I've got the... Is this the third Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Loot Crate box uh, from Series 2? I think it is. I don't know. It's literally been so long. I don't remember how much this cost. I'm pretty sure this is the third box. Hopefully I'll have the right number in the title up there. But um, yeah, this has been delay after delay after delay. And I don't even remember now how many boxes there were in total. It seemed like there was four and this is now number three. Um, we got the first one on time, I think. And then there was just massive, massive delays to uh, the next ones, but it's pretty plain, just black box here. See Nickelodeon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Loot Crate on there. I don't remember what the theme was for this one, um, but here we go. That's what it looks like when you open it up. By the way, uh, when we're done with this, I'm gonna just do a quick little uh, look at some Ninja Turtle NECA figures I got from AliExpress. Okay. Um, right off the bat, we've got what looks like some oven mitts. Uh, warning, do not use for temperatures higher than 200 degrees Celsius, 392 Fahrenheit. It's the meatball, what is it, the sewer pizza monsters? Uh, pizza monsters, the episodes when they had the meatballs on the pizza and they microwaved them and they turned into these massive monsters. Uh, cool, there's two of them. I I appreciate the fact there's two because I always feel like you need two oven mitts and not just one. Most of the time when you buy novelty mitts, you just get one mitt. And they're uh, not right-handed or left-handed. They can go on either one interchangeably. They feel pretty good. So excellent for pulling your pizza out of the oven. Um, this is cool. I do like this very much. This is a surprise. I didn't know this was coming. And you can see by all of our license plates up here on the background, this is gonna fit right in. Party Wagon, New York. I like that. That might be my favorite item in here. I'm not sure yet. Um, here is the enamel pin, the obligatory enamel pin. It's one of the Triceratons. Again, I say this every time I get an enamel pin or when I buy another pop vinyl figure. I don't collect these, but I've ended up with a collection of these because of all the sub boxes and things that include enamel pins between Loot Crate and the Nick box. I feel like I've got a ton of these now. Um, and then somehow Funko always finds a way to get my money when it comes to the pops, even though I say I'm not going to collect those. Okay, what is this? Home of the Nice Slice. Oh, what do we got here? That is a great reference to the pilot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 80s cartoon. We have got, is this an apron? Oh, it's an apron. Yeah. Dude, yes. Look at that. Ninja Pizza, home of the nice slice. I dig this. I don't even use an apron, but now I'm going to use an apron. Oh man, and Ryder and I have done, have we posted? We posted one of them so far. I've got the book over there. Uh, from the Ninja Turtle cookbook, we've been cooking pizzas. We've taken five, I think, recipes. We've already filmed the videos. They'll be scheduled out in the future, probably starting in the spring now. We might have one more before the end of the year. I wish I had this for those videos, but now in future videos, I will definitely wear this. Um, we've got two figures here. We've got Scrag. See him there. On the bottom, he's pictured with Rocksteady and Bebop in the bunny suit and the Dark Turtle. The Rocksteady and Bebop were exclusive figures from the other uh, Series 1 uh, Loot Crate, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Loot Crate. And here is Donatello, the Dark Turtle. I do kind of like this one. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I keep saying I'm gonna sell the other ones. I like the bunny suit rock steady and bebop, but I've got so many, like I'm just, the figures and the collectibles are piling up. I don't have enough room to display them all. Um, but I do like this one. 
This is really cool. I might hang on to this one unless somebody offers me a lot of money and then I might part with it. Um, that's it for this loot crate. This, I'm a little bit, oh gosh, I could have swore there was going to be four of them. Is this the fourth? I still really feel like this is only the third, but like I said, there's been so many delays and this has been drug out for so long. What concerns me and makes me think it's the last one is there's two figures in here. And I think like with the bunny suit, Rocksteady and Bebop, you were guaranteed one of them if you bought the loot crate, but if you bought them all up front, then you got the second figure. And is that what's going on with these here? I don't know. Like I said, it's been a while since they announced this box. So um, I guess stay tuned. I could have swore there was gonna be four boxes. There's nothing in here. Usually there's a little card that says, isn't there with the loot crates that shows you everything that's supposed to be in here? Hmm. Okay, so on a total side note, uh, I've picked up some NECA figures from AliExpress. Uh, I didn't get a good deal on them. I didn't get a bad deal either. They were the same price retail you'd find them at Target, except we struggle to find, we're in a big city, and yet we still struggle to find NECA Ninja Turtle figures at our targets here. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I got the mummy. I'm not collecting all the monster Ninja Turtles from NECA, but... I really, really wanted to make sure I got the mummy Michelangelo just for this particular face because it looks like the rotten Leonardo. Uh, I think that mask or the, the head was from the 93 Ninja Turtle movie, the one that wasn't by Henson. I don't know if you guys have looked it up. If you haven't looked at, look it up. Look up uh, live action Ninja Turtle suits. I'm sure it'll be one of the first Google images that shows up. But the latex around it has rotted away from the mouth and it looks just like this right here and that that's why I had to make sure I got this now this is one of the figures that ended up showing up at my target funny enough but like I said I didn't pay much over retail I think the shipping was like five bucks and that was the difference but it was worth it to guarantee I got this one because I really really wanted it um, and then the other one that just came today at the same time this uh, blue crate came the utrom Utrom uh, figure from NECA. I'm, just, I'm, I'm always a big fan of this uh, this design. I liked it in the 2012 series. I liked them in the 2003 animated series. And I saw this online in a Facebook ad for, I think, Entertainment Earth. And it was a pre-order. Uh, and I just thought, oh, man, I've got to get that. And it was already in stock on AliExpress. Again, it was pretty much retail plus shipping or maybe I'm trying to think i think this one might have been free shipping it came in a bubble like a bubble mailer thing and it looked like it was great but it did come damaged which i'm not super concerned about i have every intentions of opening this and uh displaying it as a figure rather than in the box so i don't care uh, AliExpress is sort of a crapshoot, I guess, when it comes to whether you're, you know, getting your product in mint condition or not. Sometimes, I guess, from what I've read online, they'll show up uh, mint, or sometimes they'll be damaged like this. The box that this guy came in was in pretty good shape. I wouldn't call it mint, but um, it's a good way of guaranteeing you get your figures in case, you know, you don't find them on the shelf. And they seem to be in stock sooner than some of the pre-orders uh, that you find in the States. So... I'm going to do some reviews. I've bought in quite a few different things on AliExpress. I've bought some Lego sets. Haven't got them yet. I bought them at the same time I bought this, so they're on the way. I'll review those. And I've got some clothing items. Actually, I don't have them here. I bought some football jerseys from them, and I bought a Ghostbusters hoodie, one of the uniform hoodies. Um, I might review those, uh, just give you guys an idea of the quality of things that come from AliExpress. That is it. I'm going to say my favorite item in this loot crate. Uh, definitely not the most valuable. I would say these figures are the most valuable, but I really dig the home of the nice slice and the license plate is super fitting for uh, the display we got going on here. It is stamped. It's lightly stamped. It's not a heavy, the, the texture on the lettering is not super deep, but I don't know if you guys can see the back of it there. There's a little bit of a 
you can see the print, the party wagon print there. It's definitely not as pronounced as some of these other license plates. But uh, that's it. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me while I unboxed uh, the Ninja Turtle Loot Crate that may or may not be the last one of the Series 2 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Loot Crates. Um, gosh, I really think this was the third one. I'm pretty sure. And why do I think there was supposed to be four? I don't know. It's getting late. So I'm going to sign off and say, hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. And be excellent to each other. You know, sir, it's Cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, he's bigger than any superstar. All of us meet you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Okay.